Dear students, this video discusses some exam do's and don'ts for you to consider and prepare yourself for the May-June exams. Certain actions you should take long before the exams. Check your password works. The My Exams password is the same as your My UNISA password. If you can log into My UNISA, you will be able to log into My Exams. If you've forgotten your password or it's not working, go to the link shown on the screen and um, request a new password. Follow the steps on screen to get a new password. Favorite My Exams on your browser. You can find the My Exams instance on My UNISA on the My UNISA site under important links. Click on My Exams. Once you've logged on to My Exams for the first time, it is important to add your profile picture. You can do this by going to Preferences on the left side menu, clicking on Edit Profile, click going to Use a Picture under Edit Profile, and adding a new picture of yourself. Please make sure that the picture is clear and that you are easily identifiable from the picture. Some modules you, you will use proctoring while you are writing your exam. It is important that you are aware what proctoring your module will be using and that you have, have and have tested the proctoring solution beforehand. On the day of your exam, make sure that your devices are charged. Make sure you have data. Make sure you have enough storage on your phone or computer. When you are writing an MCQ exam, you go to My Exams and click your exam. Answer the questions as they are presented. Do not open multiple windows at the same time because this will make your exam instance of your multiple choice exam crash and will cause uh, all of your answers not to be saved. If you get kicked out while writing the exam, stay calm and log in again. Keep an eye on the timer. Remember, you, you only have a limited time in which to write the exam. For take-home exams, before you write your take-home exam, prepare the pages or your documents beforehand by writing your module code, student number and page number on any physical page th pages that you will be using. If you are handwriting, practice scanning and how to use your scanning app and saving your document as a PDF file. Organize your files before the exams on your computer so that you know where the exam paper downloads to, where you are um, writing your exam and where, from where you will upload the exam. Create a blank answer file per module using the module num uh, code, your student number plus the exam date. During your take home exam, you go to My Exams, you find the exam instance, you download the exam paper, and you answer the exam as it is presented. <clears throat> we download your exam and save it in a folder. Again, keep an eye on the time. Make sure that you upload the correct file when you submit your answer file. Sometimes things do go wrong during the exams. Uh, if something went wrong with your phone or electricity during the exam, you uh, can log out and log in again and try again. If it is a terminal fault that you cannot fix, you can apply for an AgroTAT with supporting documentation. Remember, however, that this will be a second chance. If the file is too large to upload, you should, especially when you've scanned um, pages in your mobile phone app is it is important to make sure 
that, the, that you compress the file by down, downloading a PDF compressor from your app store. Good luck with the exam.